Good evening and welcome to E-Town News. I'm Thatcher Bainey. And I'm Olivia Zortman. Homecoming weekend recap, the second annual Hollow E-Town Parade and more coming up after this. Whether you're on the go or taking a break, the E-Townian has you covered. Pick up a paper on campus or read online at etownian.com. The rainy weather didn't stop Jays both past and present from coming out to this year's homecoming festivities. The weekend kicked off with Bingo Friday night. While the parade traditionally held Saturday morning had to be altered due to the rain, floats made by student clubs were still judged and the top spot went to the class of 2025 for their float, Jack and the Bird's Nest. The homecoming fair featured clubs and local vendors selling mugs, t-shirts and more. The band Debo filled the field house with music. To round of the day, the homecoming court presentation was held in which senior Nick DeMarco and Bailey Groff were crowned the 2023 winners. The 2024 homecoming will be held October 11th through the 13th. The Bauer Center is featuring a silent witness display through Friday this week. This traveling memorial honors individuals that have lost their life due to domestic violence. The goal of the memorial is to promote peace, advocacy, and an end to unhealthy relationships. Silhouettes will be placed around the lower lounge area. For more information about the Silent Witness Display Program in Lancaster County, you can visit caplank.org. Want to learn how to make simple yet delicious recipes that can be created in your dorm room? Join the Bower Center Res Hall Recipe Event tomorrow in the Demo Kitchen. Swag Gabby will show attendees how to create a harvest salad that is full of fall flavor and healthy ingredients. Two sessions will be held, the first going from 5 until 5.30 and the second session going from 5.30 to 6 p.m. To sign up, you can visit the Bauer Center website under the upcoming event page. Want to test your pop culture knowledge? OSA is hosting a pop culture trivia night from 7 to 8 p.m. Up, up to six people can be on a team and you can sign up by visiting the Hub. The event will feature Conrad's Corner. Ever dreamt of seeing Jane Austen's Cottage or Shakespeare's Globe? You will see them and more during the May short-term study abroad trip to England. Over the course of two weeks, travelers will stop in Oxford, Bath, Stonehenge, Winchester, and London while taking four-credit intro to British Literature course. An information session will be held tomorrow at 5 p.m. in the High Library McCormick Classroom. The deadline to register for this trip is November 1st. Have questions about the trip? Email Dr. Tara Moore at moort at etown.edu. Fall into the streets with Center for Community and Civic Engagement this Saturday. Into the Streets is Etown College's annual Fall Day of Community Service designed to introduce students to thoughtful community service and to provide a learning experience that will challenge them to volunteer on a regular basis. Students can sign up as an individual or with a group to work during the morning or afternoon shift. To sign up, visit the CCCE website at etown.edu slash centers slash community civic. We now turn to Keely Fitzgerald with our sports updates for the week. The men's golf team tied fourth overall at the Stevenson Invitational last Thursday. The team score was 320 plus 36. Sophomore John Harrison shot a career low of 77 plus 6. Harrison tied for 12th. Sophomore Chris Kilduff was the next highest ranking for the Jays, tying for 17th with a score of 78 plus 7. The team's next match is Saturday, October 21st at East Stroudsburg for the Landmark Conference Championship preview. The women's volleyball team walked away with the win last Friday against Catholic 3-2. This game also served as the team's senior recognition night, recognizing Georgiana Cahey, Katie Skaggs, and Cambry Helper. Junior Emma Bittner recorded a double-double, setting a double-double setting a career high of 40 assists and 14 digs. Junior Savannah Leslie recorded a double-double with 13 kills and 12 digs. The Jays' next match is against Lancaster Bible today at 7 p.m. Men's soccer defeated Wilkes on Saturday 3-0. Goals were scored by junior James Abyss, Pedro, Pedro, Guzzardi, and Hudson Pack. This was Abyss's first career goal. This now puts the Jays 6-5 and five overall and 4-2 and two in the Landmark Conference. The team's next game is Saturday at Goucher College at 1. Women's soccer tied against Wilkes Saturday 1-1. One one. Senior Maddie McWinney scored early in the first half for the Jays, but going into the second half, the score still stood at 1-0. Wilkes soon returned, scoring a goal of their own, but neither team was able to then score again. The team's next game is Saturday at Goucher College at 3-30. Field hockey faced a hard loss against Catholic last Wednesday, 5-0. Junior Angelina Gigliotos stopped 11 shots for the Jays. 
this was a season high. The team bounced back on Saturday, defeating Wilkes 1-0. Sophomore Drew Bridges scored the lone goal for the Jays, but this was enough to secure the win. The team's next game is at Moravian today at 7 p.m. These have been your sports updates for the week. I'm Keely Fitzgerald. We now turn to Wesley Ryan for your local news updates. Calling all ghouls and goblins, Live E-Town presents the third annual Trunk or Treat Candy Crawl on Market Street tonight from 6 to 8 p.m. Local businesses will be setting up trunks starting at Copper Fern North Market Street and stretching to Whirly Gig's Unique Boutique on South Market Street. Pennywise's Red Balloons mark where you can find candy and treats. New this year, all attendees wearing a costume will receive a ticket to be entered into a drawing to win a pumpkin pail full of gift cards to local businesses. For event announcements, be sure to follow Live E-Town on Facebook for the latest updates. Live E-Town and E-Town College present the second annual, not too scary, Hollow E-Town Parade on Sunday, October 29th. The parade will kick off at 6 p.m. and run down College Avenue. Following the conclusion of the parade, there will be trunk or treat on the Leffler Chapel parking lot. The due date for clubs to sign up to, for a trunk or treat slot is Thursday, October 26th. All clubs received an email via their club email address from the Traditions Committee. Didn't receive the email? Reach out to the Traditions Committee at traditions at etown.edu. These have been your local news updates for the week. I'm Wesley Ryan. Now back to Olivia and Thatcher for upcoming events. The Elizabethtown College dance team presents Dancing with the Jays on Friday, November 17th at 7 p.m. in Leffler Chapel. The event is a spin-off of Dancing with the Stars. Each dance team has picked a member of the student body to compete with them. The cost is $3 per student. Follow the dance team on Instagram at Elizabethtown Dance to keep up with all the late updates. Join Rock Litz for their annual live event career exploration conference on Friday, November 10th from 9.30 a.m. until 6.30 p.m. This event showcases jobs such as design, engineering, manufacturing, finance, scenic art, and operations, all which are across a fast-paced creative and technical industries. The college is covering the cost for up to 20 students to go. Want to sign up? Visit the more recent campus news email under eTown Events for the sign-up link. The first speaker a part of the 2023-2024 lecture series lineup will be next Thursday. David Hogg, Parkland High School shooting survivor and gun control activist, will be there the first of this series on October 26th at 7 p.m. in Leffler Chapel. Hogg's topic, titled Engaged in the Change, Owning Democracy, and Not Living in Fear of Ending Gun Violence, will focus on discussing his experience being involved in a school shooting along with political lessons he has learned through his advocacy work. This event is free for students, however, registration is required and can be done so at etown.edu slash offices slash president slash lecture series. That's all for today, Jays. We'll be back next week with more Etown news. I'm Olivia Zortman. And I'm Thatcher Bainey. Have a great week and remember to take, take flight, Etown! E